Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about Elysium and how to get it to work. Now, um, some of you may have Elysium. It used to be called Zen. And for a lot of you, it may not work. It doesn't mean your bot's broken. It just means that you would have to enter a code. Um, in this video, I will show you how to enter the code. And I'll also put the code down in um, the video description. Now, what I mean by the add-on is working would be like say if I click on either movies or TV shows it would do this for a bit alright now it takes you to this page and then you can click on any of these categories and none of them will, will work so I'm gonna click on uh, populist as you can see it didn't do anything now I'm gonna click on new movies See nothing worked there, and let's click on in theaters. Now, for some of you, yours may work. That means that you probably got an updated version and it has a code in it already. Now, the thing is, with that code, millions of other people are using that code. So, what you want to do is get rid of that code because um, eventually that code will stop working because it's being used by so many people. So, once that code stops working, then you're going to have to get another code. Or wait for the latest update. Now, here's what we're going to do. I have a code um, for everyone in the group. So, this is the code that I want everyone to use. Now, in order to put in the code, all you simply got to do is go back to the beginning of the add-on. Alright. So, you click on Favorites. Click on Elysium. It's the beginning of the add-on right here. You just simply hit the up button here. And you go to, to the word Tools. Once you get to the word Tools, you just click on that. Then you click on accounts. All right, and down here where it says API key for TMDB. TMDB API key. This is the one you need to click on right here. Now, if you already have a code in here, erase it. Otherwise, it will start working maybe a week from now or a couple of days from now. So if you already have that, definitely get rid of that code that's already in there. So here's what I want you to do. Simply click on it. After that, type in this code right here. Alright, after you get done in the code, double check it. It's a really long code, so you definitely want to double check. Make sure it's correct before you get done. Good. Then you go over here to the right, hit OK. Alright, once you do done with that, just hit the back button. And now just click on movies. Again. And after the screen loads up, we're gonna click on the new category. Just click on in theaters. Remember before it would not let us go in there. If you entered the code incorrectly, it won't let you go in there again. But if you entered it correctly, you will now have access to it. See that? Now I can click on the movies and they all should play. So let's click on Geostorm. Right, remember, when you click on something, give it some time. Do not click on anything two or three times. If you do, it's going to take twice as 
twice or three times as long as the load. Now as you can see already, the first side of it is going to be the 1080p, the middle is going to be 720, and the last one up there in the first set of parentheses is going to be standard definition, and the one all the way to the right is going to be the total. Here we go right here. As you can see, we have like 16 different links. So first thing we're gonna do is click on the very first one at the top and see what we get from there. And there you go, we have a video. Geostorm, just like that. All right, so let's go over those steps again. Okay, so say if you don't have um, Elysium in your favorites, what you can do then is simply go to your add-ons list. Now mine, my add-ons list, if, normally you have add-ons written up here. Or you can find video add-ons. If you don't have add-ons written up here, well, we're going to go over that later, but right now, just go down to video add-ons if you have it up here, all right? All right, now if you don't see it in this list, everything should be in alphabetical order unless it's um, have a parentheses and colors. All that comes first. Not, not parentheses, I mean punctuation, then colors. All that comes first, then alphabetical order. As you scroll down, as you can see, I have it right here. Say so if you don't have it, what you do is press the left button and you go down to the very bottom and click get more. And once you get to get more, it will have Every single add-on that is on your box. So you can see at the top right hand corner, I have 1,865 add-ons. Right? And like I said before, it would be in alphabetical order. So all you simply do is just scroll all the way down into the E section. And there we go right here. If it doesn't say enabled, all you simply do is just click on it and then click install. Once you click install, you're going to get a notification that said the add-on is now enabled. When you go back to the screen, you'll see it said enabled. Now from here, what you'll do again, from this screen, you just press the menu button, information, Go to configure, and then you're going to go to accounts. Uh, it doesn't look like it. There we go. Uh, no, it's not it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it lets you do it from here. So what you simply do is just hit open, and then go to tools. Click on tools. Then click on accounts. And there you go. You enter this key right here. If you already have a key in there, erase it and put this in there. All right, as I was saying before, if you can't find the word video add ons anywhere on the main menu, what you do then is click on the word system, click on add ons. You hit the back button because I went to video add-ons first. So if you haven't went to video add-ons, you won't see that. And then what you'll simply do, click on the word my add-ons. And there you have video add-ons. You would quote from here. Just write that. All right. So you have any questions at all about how to do this or if you punched in the key wrong or any other questions, just let me know and I'll respond to you. All right.